Thank you for watching Equipedia World videos. In this lecture, we will talk about billing process in sales and distribution module in SAP ERP system. Billing is one of the most important processes in the sales cycle. In this step, customers are invoiced for the services rendered or goods supplied. If there are any corrections in the billed amount or if the customer has returned the goods for any reason, the difference is settled by issuing credit or a debit memo or a credit for returns. All these documents are termed billing documents in SAP. During the process of billing, you can choose to carry out a final repricing for some or all the pricing conditions before the invoice is created. The billing documents are then released to accounting. The determination of the accounts, the accounting document type and other information is initiated during the billing process. To create a billing document, you can enter transaction code VF01 or you can follow menu pass Logistics Sales and Distribution Billing Billing Document Create VF01 Here you can enter one or more documents due for billing. This can be sales documents in the case of for order related billing and delivery documents. The billing type can be entered manually or determined based on the customization settings. The execute functions will create a billing documents. Also, you can create billing document from the sales order. If you go to change sales order transaction, and choose sales order, and from this screen, you can go to sales order and click on billing to create a billing document. Also, you can create billing as a collective processing. When the volume of the sales transaction is high, it is not always feasible to create individual billing documents. Collective processing of billing documents enables you to create documents in batches. Follow menu pass, SAP menu, logistics, sales and distribution, billing, billing document, and process billing document, do list. The selection screen allows you to control the parameters for which the list can be executed. You can use criteria such as billing data with options like billing type and billing dates, organizational data such as sales organization, or customer specific data such as sold to party number. You can further limit the documents to be selected by choosing scenarios such as order-related billing, delivery-related billing, and so on. In SAP, several types of billing documents exist to fit different business processes. The billing type determines the kind of billing document that is created in the process. We will now discuss some of the major document types and the business scenarios where they are used. After that, we will discuss customization settings. 
first billing type, customer invoice. You can invoice the customer for services rendered or items delivered by using regular invoices. Depending on the reference document, billing type F1 is defined for order-related billing and F2 is defined for delivery-related billing. Credit and debit memos. You can make any corrections to the invoices amount or give any refunds to the customer using credit memos, billing type G2, and debit memos, billing type L2. These documents are usually created with reference to a credit or debit memo request. In that case, it is an order-related billing. However, credit or debit memos can be created with reference to invoices as well. You can also issue a credit to a customer in the event of a return. In this case, you can use a special billing type, RE. This is usually created with reference to return order and return delivery. Next billing type is pro forma invoice. A pro forma invoice is used as documentation to accompany shipments. It has details about the shipment contents and value. A pro forma invoice has no impact on financial accounting. You can print out any number of pro forma invoices at any stage of the sales cycle. You can create a pro forma invoice with reference to a sales order, billing type F5, or a delivery, as billing type F8. Next billing type is intercompany invoice. In an intercompany sales scenario, the delivery plant in a sales order belongs to a different company code than the sales organization. In this case, the plan delivers the shipment to the customer and bills the order in company code for the goods or services provided. This internal document is called intercompany invoice. The billing type in this case is IV. Next billing type is invoice list. Some customers prefer to receive a periodic statement that lists the details of all the billing documents created in a certain period. This document is called an invoice list. You can combine one or more billing documents in an invoice list. In the case of a large group of companies, uh, there can be several sold to parties, but a common player. In such cases, it is common to issue a periodic invoice list to the payer who will make the payment on behalf of the entire group. The group payer internally collects the amount from each sold to party within the group. In some cases, the payer is given a discount, called a refactoring discount, for these services. To create invoice list, you can use transaction VF21. The transaction is similar to VF01, but used exclusively for an invoice list. You can combine one or more invoices and debit notes in a common invoice list. SAP offers the billing type LR. Credit memos are combined into a separate invoice list called LG. The billing documents to be included in an invoice list should be already have been posted to accounting. Next billing type is invoice cancellation documents. If any invoice that has been posted to accounting has to be deleted, you can create another billing document called a cancellation document to offset the effect. The cancellation document is also posted to the accounting and offsets entire and entries error. At this time the reference document, order or billing, once again becomes due for billing. S1, S2, LRS and LGS are examples of cancellation billing types. To create a cancellation document, you can use transaction VF11. Enter the billing document to be cancelled and execute the transaction. We will now cover the important settings required to configure a billing document and control the data flow in it. Customizing billing document steps. Setting up a billing type. Setting up a copy controls. Configuring and assigning billing blocks. Now we will talk about 
setting up a billing type. So the first step in the configuration is to set up billing document. Go to transaction SPRO. Click on SCP reference IMG. Click on Sales and Distribution. Billing. Billing documents. And define billing types. Click on Define Billing Types. You can select from the existing list of billing documents or define a custom document here. It is helpful to copy with reference to an existing document type. So we will choose standard billing type delivery related F2 and we will create our new billing type with the reference to this standard billing type. We will choose a four character alphanumeric code and meaningful description here. And some of the important fields in the screen are as follows. First field, number range, internal number range assignment. You can specify a number range for the billing document in the field number range internal number assignment. SAP allows only internal number range assignments for billing documents. IT number increment. This is for intervals between positions. So the first position in the document will be with line number 10. Second position with line number 20 and so on. Next step is general control and some of the important fields in this step. SD document category. The code in the field SD document category signifies the type of billing documents you are configuring. For billing documents, some of the major document categories are as follows. M like invoice. O credit memo, P debit memo, 3 invoice list, U pro forma invoice. We will choose invoice billing document. Field passed in block. If you select this checkbox, the billing document is blocked for posting to accounting. The document has to be released manually. Transaction group. This field is used for document control in SAP. For billing documents, the transaction group is 7. For performing voices, it will be 8, and so on. Document type. You can specify an accounting document type that will be linked to this document type. And you see here the list of accounting document types. Next important field is negative pasting. 
This field is easy to control where the negative values are permitted in the document. Next field, branch head office. This field allows you to control which partner function is forwarded to accounting. If the payer and sold to party are different in the sales order, the default settings passes the payer for financial accounting. Credit memo, validation date checkbox. If selected, it means yes. If deselected, it means no. Next field is invoice list type. If this billing type is going to be issued in invoice lists, you can specify the type of invoice list, a document that can be created. In our case, it will be LR, invoice list. Rebate settlement. If this billing type is going to be used for settlement of rebates, you have to specify the type of settlement in this field. For example, billing type B1 is a rebate uh, credit memo used in final rebate settlements option A. The other options here are rebate correction document B, partial settlement C, manual accruals D. You can leave this field blank if the billing type is not used for rebate settlements. Relevance for rebate checkbox. If you flag the relevance for rebate checkbox, the billing document is considered relevant for rebates. The value of the billing document will be added to the total sales for the customer and will contribute to the rebate calculated for the customer. For example, regular invoices such as F1 and F2 are relevant for rebates, whereas performer documents such as F5 and F8 are not. We will discuss the rebate functionality in one of our future lectures. Let's look at the other important fields. Cancellation tab. The settings on this tab control the process of cancellation of invoices. If the cancel billing type field in the uh, cancel billing type field specifies document type to be used for cancellation of this document. In our case, it will be S1. Reference and assignment numbers. When a billing document is passed to accounting, you can forward document numbers as reference to the financial accounting team. In the reference number field, you can choose whether, for example, the sales order number or the delivery number is to be passed to accounting for reference. You can choose another reference document is the assignment number field. The other settings on the account assignment and pricing tab we will cover in one of our future lectures. After making all necessary changes, we can save our new document type. Press yes for copy controls. OK, and we see the warning message that an entry already exists with the same key. This means the need to specify another technical name. So in that case, we will use Z9F2. We will continue about next step in customization, copy controls, in our next lecture. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos.